Known as the White Pearl of the Indian Ocean, Mogadishu was once a beautiful seaside city. Wide, peaceful streets where fascist architecture left over from the Italian colonial era blended in with ancient mosques and a lone cathedral. Aman is Somali but grew up in the US and found it hard to imagine Somalia in its glory days. The city has been so destroyed and so touched by the war. Um, and so when you go there, you actually oftentimes are to see ruins more than buildings that are still fully standing. Um, some of the buildings have been entirely razed down. So in a way, it is like a literal, like, if, if effacing of the history through the effacing of the urban, you know, landscape. Determined to preserve Mogadishu's heritage, Aman has teamed up with three architecture students, all Somali by heritage, but now living abroad. They've launched a project which digitally recreates buildings and monuments from Mogadishu's pre-war age. The idea is to show what the once flourishing city looked like and how it could look again. This is what Somalia's National Theatre looks like today. This is the architecture Somali reconstruction. The group has also used a 3D printer to bring to life their digital designs. There are no such thing as architectural archives in Somalia, so doing the research to design these models was a painstaking three-year job for the team. They put a call out for old photographs, and by studying them alongside the history books, they were finally able to recreate some of the grand old buildings. But this project is not just about visualising the past. The group hopes their work will influence and inspire those tasked with rebuilding Mogadishu. Our country's at a crossroads, right? So the war is, in a sense, winding down. A lot of people are investing a lot of money in, in cities all over Somalia, but especially the capital city. And so there's a lot of new building happening, a new, you know, a reconstruction, um, a kind of renaissance. But we worry that a lot of this isn't based on the heritage that we have. And it's clear the group is already attracting attention. Right now, their project is on show at London's prestigious Design Biennale, an exhibition gathering of some of the world's best designers. And the message is simple. Somalis can look to the past to reimagine their future. Sarah Morris, TRT World, London.